here we have uh, the diversity data of uh, phytoplankton. So these are phytoplankton species arranged in columns and the sampling dates for each row. Here are the abundance, the counts for each sampling date. Okay, so we will try to use PASS to determine certain parameters to determine certain uh, indices. So I'll copy the data and paste it into pass. Okay, so I'll paste it here. Okay. Uh, for diversity you can get uh you can measure diversity indices, richness refraction refraction okay and others so usually for microbial ecology we are more interested in uh, diversity refraction but pass uh, will not be able to recognize data placed like this as the sampling dates have to be in the column and the species should be on the rows so what you can do is you select all the data and then rearrange them by transposing okay so automatically it is transposed now you have the diatoms uh, the phytoplankton species on the rows and the sampling dates as columns so now we can obtain the uh, diversity indices. So what is what is interesting is uh, the table shows the number of taxa or OTUs, operational taxonomic units that you obtained, the individuals for each sampling date, okay, the index of dominance, okay. Um, then Shannon's diversity index here. You also have a uh, Chow's Chow one uh, richness. Need to view it visually. You can do it this way. Okay. Immediately you can see the patterns for your data. You can have connecting lines if you need. You can have a uh, diversity index here. So this is how you can obtain the alpha diversity indices for each sampling date. Okay. Next, uh, we'll look at how we can obtain uh, individual refraction. Okay. Refraction. Uh, this is with the ninety-five percent confidence level. Here you can see the richness for each sampling date okay of course from refraction graphs it is best if your line has already reached a plateau that means your sampling effort was adequate okay. so this is what you can obtain from uh, individual refraction function in pass